Hey everybody, this is Digi Good Pro Dots and Pray Now, episode M across the New Horizon part 36. Today we're going to be doing a lot of work, but I hope we'll get it done. Hello there, everyone. Right now it's light, it's 6 11 p.m. on Thursday, April 30th, 2020. There really isn't any news to show there. I suppose I don't have much to say besides my hellos. Oh, the, now, though, now I think about it, at the, and it's the end of April already upon us. So say spring has sprung, but before you know it, spring has sprung out right out the door. <laughs> but, anyways, but, but we won't let that stop us from joining maids to the forest, will we? Well, then Isabel signing off. Oh, but a cup of a puppy doggy. Okay, come on, so we can see what's going to be next. Uh, ooh, the mail and... Oh, my phone is ringing. Hello, this is Tommy from Nook and Creamy. We have sent a payment to your bank account for 376 bills for what you left in the drop box. And that's probably for me selling a bunch of flowers again. <laughs> Thanks for using the service. Hope to see you in shop soon. Uh, I got annoyed by the mums. And let's see what's in the mail. Nook shopping, my annoying tea, and KK song. All these are all going to be street lamps. They, nonetheless. Then I got something from label. Trust me, I was planning on putting street lamps in a few places. So it'll be fun. And they both sent my two tickets. So we'll probably be doing that in a bit. So now let's see. Let me go open up the gifts. No. I meant to open up the gifts. Okay, annoying tea. Or, or whatever. Kick it song. One street lamp. Two street lamps. Three street lamps. Four street lamps, five street lamps, and two tailor tickets. Let's see here. I'm gonna put the KK song into the radio. To confirm. Now we're playing that song. And I think, I'm not sure, but later I will start looking for something that I bought additional stuff for, but they and me didn't know that where I put them at. <laughs> I did. Just for any luck. Hello tea. That's something that that's one of those hello teas. I still can't say it properly, but what can you expect? It's not like you can do much on your own. Okay. My fault for unfortunately, I somehow, my mic was unplugged and didn't notice until after I was done recording. So this is just going to be a, a video. Yeah, I have both, I have pink lilies and cosmic flowers after me and my mom did massive watering on my garden. To see if that helped. But yeah, I somehow did not know I missed some quality of the street lamp. <laughs> yeah, explain to me how I was not standing in the spot, but yet it still didn't count that there was no room. That is just not right. Let's see. What else was this picture that I put one of those at? Okay, we put street lamp here. More likely. I'll go up to find a place for street lamp. Oh yeah, I put two street lamps at the top of the staircase. Put 
nasty and there. Oops. That didn't go where I wanted it to go, so now we gotta move it over. Not funny street lamp. I was thinking about where I could put this in there, and I why not we put it right, put it, make it a uh, uniform by putting the street lamp here. And there, now we have the uniform street, the thing. Unfortunately, that's what I was going to put the bridge going across here, and now it's going to go at an angle. Zach's house is now there. Now we're going to go, let's see. Remove the ticket. And last. Uh, I would just run around. Oh, now we're gonna play hit the rocks. And it happens to be my money rock. <laughs> How lucky can I be? I go to hit the rocks and it's my money rock. And of course, I hit it properly. I know that money rock has got a good spot to it, unfortunately it's not staying. Due to the fact that there's going to be a ramp going there. Hey, it's me, Boo. Let's talk. Right, Lou is the perfect size. Too big to see across, too small for a sea monster to attack. Are you sure about that? <laughs> I'm sure a sea monster could attack you if it really, really wanted to. If we're big enough to have all the space and stuff we have on there, yeah. Looks like I'm doing a little investigation around the place. Oh, there's an animal pier singing. Well, well, did you go? Long time, no chat. We are on a field of mist between us. I, I went too far with that. Come on, what was it? What was the latest? Did, did you know the spread grows one right next to you without the, any gaps? Perfect way to make hedge walls around your home. A hedge around home is like a gorgeous green wall castle, don't you think? Probably wouldn't keep dragons out with it. No, I'm sure a dragon could probably destroy it by just burning it, probably. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be probably rearranging this. I think I do remove some trees in this one. Not sure. I'm gonna be putting like a um, stairwell up. And first we're checking the miles because it's been in the past. Fourth. Then we get the iron designer out. <sighs> so we're gonna start the construction, getting the permission for construction. And then you remember the way you have it during construction. So I believe, yes, I'm gonna go and get my construction tool. I need to put. <laughs> of course, I can't move it until I move a tree. And my luck is, I don't have any fruit. Got, I digged up a thousand bales, and I'm gonna put. Take that then in the ground. Almost I made that mistake. I think I did that with a few characters. I accidentally made a mistake and cover up the hole. Now where should I put this baby tree sapling? Can it go there without too much of a problem? 
I think I put it because it was on point maybe. Okay, that's a good spot for it because it's more space for it. There we go. That has been moved. That won't be happening anymore because the museum is going there. I don't know why it keeps putting the little gold spots there. And there's more spots everywhere else for them. Oh yeah, I built it after you used it. Fortunately, I figured out that my uh, stairway has to be moved over one. <laughs> Not happy with that. So now I'm kind of just changing the path a little bit to get a better idea. I think this one, not only did I was missing with those ticket things again, I think this one I kind of started playing out this area by moving flowers and stuff. I have to say, it's kind of annoying. I also found out that the sidewalk wasn't going to work properly where I was wanting it to go. So a tree's gotta get moved again. And all the flowers get moved. Fortunately, I just moved them a little bit back. They make it look nicer, but they're gonna get moved later on. So I think I'm gonna be putting a hedge where they're gonna get put that. Because of, um, I know it's where the museum is going to be, and we're not going to be able to see these flowers, so the hedge that we make will be the best option. And as you can see, we are now moving the flowers. <laughs> I think I moved a lot of them in and also got rid of a lot because there was just too many if you ask me. So in a way I was just trying to kind of deal with these flowers in a way that could help. At least until I can get what I was going to put here. Finding a nuisance, to be honest. That I bought parties here and I'm rearranging them yet again. Like I plan, I was originally planning to keep my flowers a certain way. Oopsie daisy, they meant to bump the flower. Trust me, it grew a lot of flowers and it was driving me nuts. No, I don't want to put that hole down, get rid of it. Like the bottom of the flowers that needed to be moved. I'm going to put all the flowers back down. Or at least the ones I just picked up. And so forth. And of course, right on time. Using the thing, get no, get out of here, get out of here. Let's see how much is what is it? I actually have one of those. I wasn't realizing, but when I first saw, oh, I didn't have that. I'll put it at home. Forgot what the breaker was, 
it hangs on the wall. But the brick is one of these stupid things that hangs on the wall, and I happen to have one in the kitchen. It'll be easy to explain what how, what I consider a brick is in real life compared to the one they have in the game. All these the ones I've seen. Oh, there goes my shovel. Oh no, that's the end of my trusty shovel. Bye, Shelby. Do I have a new one? Yes, I do have a spell. Save it. Turn the slot it belongs to. And hold. Now we're going to pick up all the flowers. Get rid of the hole. I just like doing it that way doing the shovel because it makes the shovel last longer. Good, but yes, it does. I think I did a lot of work, to be honest, on this, because it took a lot. Between picking up all the flowers, getting some fruit, and changing this path, which I kind of actually left space between the path and with the flowers, because the flowers are where the hedges are going to go later. Not the bushes that she's talking about. One, I have kicks there and not, um leaf and two the bush you wouldn't be able to see the flowers on the bushes so yeah i think i went through and also found any flowers that didn't have that many mates and got rid of them like okay there's some tulips that don't have playmates no more so i'm gonna get rid of them when I get too many flowers, I just, especially when there's more of one color than there is anything else. See, three yellow mums, uh, hi hibiscus, I mean, three yellow hibiscus. And I'm going to get rid of them because I can't stand them no more. It wouldn't be so bad, but there's so many of them. Oh, yo, did you go? Alright, ladies and gents, I got some new to add to your reaction, reaction game. What is it, Chef? Let's say I love about how to give you a high five, but then put the hand behind, back through the hair. This happened to me, and it could happen to you. So what do you do? You hit them with one of these. <laughs> Trust me, heartbreak is the tired and true way to communicate motion along in the annoying in the pitch. Yay! I learned the heartbreak reaction. Oh, that's a heartache. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, I saw flowers because I couldn't stand the damn things anymore. You get to me, you have to do something with them. Then I went over here and checked that breaker to see if I had it. Because I'm not really sure if I had it or not. But we'll find out. Okay, there's my suits. Uh, I wasn't paying attention where they were at. Still don't know why I didn't, but I didn't. <laughs> and right there is the bike girl.
Have you seen what I mean? Yeah, so that's the breaker. But I've never seen that style. I've always seen the ones that's been behind doors. Which enough is really enough. And only enough, I don't know if those are the modern types or just houses have them. But every place I've been, I've always seen behind some type of metal door. Well, so, breaker goes bye bye. Because why do you need the breaker? <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't. And we get bones from the trees. Ow. Hit my hand. Go get some shells from the beach. Go to the fishing. Oh, can't you throw it in front of the fish? I still don't know how if you're standing in front of the fish but it doesn't exactly land in front of the fish. That is so weird. And horse mackerel. I call horse mackerel, of course, is a mackerel. <laughs> Pick up all those and sell them. Thing. Oh crud. I missed because I'm trying to get a good angle and it screwed up on me. Hi puppy. Oh, we meet again. Let's chat. You know that what May has been up to in the room and they have found a whole bunch of fossils dirty around there. Fossils are so cool like they are like virtual bones. Virtual means old stuff that's laying but in a cool way. <laughs> okay, my puppy. Bye. Silly puppy. Ooh, now I fish sushi. Oh, good. Got it. And it's a sea bath. I'm sick and tired of those things. I'm so sick and tired of those sea basses. Now, horse mackerel. That's driving me nuts just as badly as other things. Pick up this. Get my hat out. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, this will be fun. I'm gonna catch this fun fun fun. Oh, she's clapping me because I caught it. <laughs> Dude, did look like a nice day right from front of her. I know I have a bridge, but I wanted to travel the edge of the beach. Just to be on the safe side. And we got a message in the bottle. Hmm, got take it. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Yay, red snapper. Nice. And we have another thing here. So let's see what this says. Message in bottle. This is telling me how bad my mind you know the I do as of course but share minds which be sure. Make it and you won't be sorry. Hope for Robin. What is it? Come on. Uh, you guys will probably read this better. Birdbath, and guess what I have? That can go on to the thing up front for now. Because I already got it, and one of the other characters can get it. Yeah, hey, fishy, fishy, fishy. Come on. Mm. Mm. 
Gotcha. Man, that would be much fun if it went the right way. There you go. And see. Come on. Come on. There we go. I am really tired of those bangs. Oh, what kind of will keep bumping each other? Eh? <laughs> I see something on the run, I gotta double check what it was. Giant clowns is how you make that. I got that, um, I think, last time I played this before, before this episode. And for some reason, I wasn't really sure what clowns you need for it. I can't comment well before I. <laughs> this little kitchen just ends up being. Yeah, look to my advantage. Hi. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't want that. Stupid, I didn't want that. Well, that buggy went into the water. This is bad because you try to do something, something else shows up. You know, stupid balloon. Very, very annoying little balloon. Pop goes the balloon. And I don't want to cool the box. Well, the only one I want to drop it. Now let's see what the cooler box looks like. Yeah, it's nice, but I wish it would be a different cover. Lone screens are so long. Hello, welcome to Looking Creamy. Did you go welcome, welcome? What do you need today? Of course, what is the offering? Everything but the tickets. <laughs> I'm fine today. All done. Uh, you can buy those for 9,050 bells. Thank you. Come again. Uh, what's the turn price? The turn price is 63 bells per turn. Can do it for you. I'll yeah, see you later. And we got nut miles. Ooh. And some bells that send some items. <laughs> what a nice surprise. So let's go here. See what is in here I can buy. I think I buy two bulk packs of cherries. Bought two book packs of cherries. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Whatever, you two. <laughs> Keep going into my animals. My paths are too wide, and yet I can never know where those animals are going to be at. So I need to move two trees. So I eat one cherry for sure. Then I eat a second one because I got a tree up there to move. I can eat three because I'm going to move one more up that's up there. I'm going to move three trees.
Make it somewhat nice. And now we'll get rid of these stupid trees. No, I don't want that. I want the shovel. I think I kind of decided to change this because I just realized this wasn't looking right. I decided to put the path here. I see I was putting the space between it and the flowers. I so, said, oh, that would be good. And then I realized, no, I'm going to be putting a hedge here. That's not going to work. So I got rid of it on one side and put it on the other side. You'll see in a bit because, like I said, this is pretty much recording because my mic did not want to go when I was doing it. That did not make me happy at all. Because that wasn't looking right in my mind. Not one bit. Not to say, this really wasn't going my way either. Well, what can you expect? You really can't do much when you're trying to figure out how it's going to look. Because when I realized where it was going to land, not only did it not look right because I had to think where this was going to be, but then I realized, no, this isn't going to work because of the museum. So I just decided to get rid of it. And the quickest way to get rid of it <laughs> is to use the grass texture. Ooh. Now, as we call it, broken tin. This would be nice if it was faster doing this. But you can only go as fast as it lets you go. So now I'm putting down the next layer. So now you see my spacing. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Just trying to aim it there. It just goes wherever the thing pleases. It goes wherever it pleases. Oh, it looks really nice. Oh, there we go again. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do it right here. I don't know why it goes off the corner. Even when you use the good mic, the good stuff. So we get the grass thing and we get rid of this old texture. I was going to just have it all one path site. And then I thought, you know what? It'd be nice. Different layers, different paths. With different sections. So yeah, I'm using different paths in different places. So now I'm removing the path because it needs to be the path and I got rid of one of the bad one, good ones. So now I got to fix it. No, not like that. You're supposed to fix the one you're standing on, not to get rid of another one. 
So now we go back to the grass texture. Our grass path thing. To make it look nice. Actually, it does look very nice. I think I also think about planning on doing something with the back layer. I'm not sure yet. So now I go in eat a cherry tree. And move a tree there. I'm gonna try and figure out what I'm gonna be doing. Cause to be honest, I'm not sure. Oh, yep, I'm picking up the fence. So I'll pick up the fence because I'm gonna move the thing back, but I need to borrow the fence to figure out what I'm gonna do to kind of line it up. So I gotta make more of this fence later. So after I move a few other buildings later down the line, these will be moved. I think the next building I'm thinking about doing is the museum since no one's giving me an answer on that part of the me that part. Well, but yeah, no one's giving me an answer on it. Moving enough. But what can you expect? there and no not there I said here I'm gonna go one two three four space one two three four And get rid of this. So we put one there so we can get rid of all these because they're not needed. So one, two, three, three. So that's four. Oops, did I do anything? I meant to grab that. I'm gonna grab all this stuff because I don't need it. Oops, wrong way. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. So I move all of this out of the way. Because I decided I'm not going to be using this fence at all. Yeah, at first I just did to try to improve my scoring to get KK. Now I decided I want certain types of fence. Sure enough, it seems odd that I'm getting rid of something that I had for a while. But it, I, can, I made as much defense that I actually had the stuff for. But I didn't know for sure what fences I think would look good, so I decided to hold off until I figured out what I was going to do. Now I have an idea what I'm going to do. <laughs> and one of my friends are online. Use that tree as kind of the temporary marker where I'm going to be putting like um where this is going to be at. So we go like this. So I decided I'm going to move the land forward right here. Put a nice little sitting area next to the orchard. Try my best to make it look somewhat decent. Trying to figure out how much I need to move back farther. Oops. 
全滅したわなあ、電話ばかし。いいしょ、いいしょ。Didn't realize it wasn't gonna look right because of the fence, so I decided with this p a r one and do this part. And of course, the tree's in the way. Put the fence up a little bit. And I gotta eat a cup, eat about three chairs to get rid of some trees. Oh, I was gonna see if this won't work. I think it was too much. I decided to do one, one、uh, round of corner. This makes it look nicer. Now we go and we get the bamboo fencing. And we put up the remaining pieces we need to put up. There we go, and this should be the last piece. There we go. Now I need to remove these two trees, so I need to eat two more. So we eat two more cherries to、so、remove these trees. Now we grab the shovel. I haven't exactly filled this up yet. I'm going to do that off camera. I know I'm just putting it where it might be going off it and off camera. Also, after I get rid of a certain ape, moves a certain ape's house. So, do like this. Now I get rid of the path that went up to the house because I'm rearranging this place again. f a i r enough, really. But what can you expect? Almost done. So when I got rid of the path, I'm going to be moving her house. I do kind of figure out what I was going to do with this. I think I decided that I'm going to rearrange this path and move it over one. Yeah. I'm going to be moving it over one. What's the latest?、Uh, oh, that reminds me. I have a bit of news about Duke from the other day. I heard they. Well, I heard they buried bells in the ground. And now some folks saying they saw a spot pit where the bells were buried. It's become quite a popular rumor around Lightroom. Yeah, Claudia, it's not a rumor. And you're also in my way. 
A silly pink and blue tiger. Trust me, I didn't choose her to move in my town, but to be honest, I'm kind of glad she did. Because ever since she moved in, she's fit into my kind of color palette. Oh, come on, I just put that in there. So now we go this way. Now we curve that, and we curve this. There we go. No, I don't want to curve that, and I don't want to give it away either. There we go. So I leave. Make three spaces, leave, but then I do this, and I think I do five. Yeah, I do five. So I'm putting up five spaces due to the fact that I'm trying to leave the three spaces. One space to walk away, and then the two matching ramps that I'm going to be putting there. A little bit odd, but yeah. So I put one there and one there, the dirt. Help to turn something. Then I go and put the dirt. Like so. Put three. Skip a space. Put three. I think I do skip a space. Nope. Somehow that did not go the way I wanted to. Put one there, one here, and then I put one there. I can also skip a space. Oh, that wasn't what I wanted. So we skip a space, put one there, put one here, then I went here, and I think, yeah, I get rid of it here. Because the bridge is going to go there. And I get rid of the one over here because of the bridge again. Oh! Now that's what you call perfect time. She moves. No, I don't want to do that. I'll get rid of that. <laughs> Are you happy, tiger? Are you happy, Claudia? Someone's happy. I know I rounded off. That's probably going to get fixed later. So we bring it forward and then I round it off. Interesting enough, but yeah, it does work. Surprisingly enough. So pretty soon, yeah, I also put the things here. Maybe because I wanted to know exactly what it's so off. Then I put it in between because why not? Just about done. Now I go run to find some of those lanterns I need. I'm going to have to make more of those, unfortunately. Because I just realized I don't have enough. But I do go get some supplies to make, help finish making those. We, I knew one was here. I think there's another one down here somewhere. Right, there it is. So I moved these. I think that's the only two left down this area. So now I think I go looking over here. Think about doing this. You know what? I'm going to move the campsite anyways. So let's just take these and use these ones. <laughs> yeah, I'm planning on moving the campsite up to the second level. I'm just putting that area for any shops that could possibly come that could take up the space. And we place that there, and I gotta move it over. No. Move it over. Good. And then we put another one. Kinda like a nice little thing. It looks like don't have no boxes, so might as well make sure that's in the right spot. You're not going to like this buggy buggy. Put that there. 
And we put Blossom up there. Surprise, I don't know, I think we did, lot, did pretty good for the time being. And with that, I think we're close to being done. Just need to find some place to put those trees. Otherwise, I think this is good. Bye!